Hey guys, Aries here. So I just got out of a really odd game, um, and I will show you that right here. I just want to make sure that it's actually recording, which it is. Cool. Um, where is it? It's this game. So 0515 died a lot in the early game. Uh, there was a little issue with jungler not really doing anything, but that's fine. Because um, that's, that's what happened. We were with the blue team. So we went really far behind, almost 12,000 gold behind, and then we started grouping, we started getting picks, and then we just completely blew the game open, got Baron, won the game. That's that's really all that happened. So, uh, yeah, that's that's also why you never surrender ranked games, because, oh, you could have just surrendered it and gotten into another game, and, you know, oh, why spend 40 minutes on one loss when you can spend 20 minutes on another win, maybe? Because if you lose one, win one, you're back at the same spot, so then you'll have to play another one. So the third game you play has equal weight to the first game you play, because of the second game you play is to recover the losses from the first game. So as long as that first game's not like 70 or 80 minutes, even if you play three 20-minute games, it's still quicker to not surrender and have a chance of winning the first game. Because I'm gold 4 right now, I'm playing gold 2s-ish, sometimes you get the odd silver, um, <clears throat> and people throw all the time, but that's not important. So what we're looking at is not just wards placed. So here I have opi.gg, lol king, match history, which we don't need anymore, and then league of graphs. I really like this site because what I'm going to do is open up my five most recent rank games. They are all wins, but you would do this for losses um, as well. And when this loads, what we go through is we just want to make sure it doesn't freeze up. So we go through and we look at, you click your participant. I'm just going to wait for Chrome to load everything. I'm going to close these just to make sure it doesn't use too many resources. And okay, so it looks like it's loading everything. Okay, so what we do is we go down, we don't care about minions as the support, we don't really care about level or gold as the support because a lot of our gold comes from our support item and our runes and masteries. So, you know, level, gold, it's not really going to affect us too much. <coughs> so usually you always want to be seen, first I check the, uh, the people I'm playing with. So I'm in gold right now, so I'm looking at people in gold. And then I always compare it to diamond because that's what we're aiming for. <coughs> Same thing for gold. So. Bam, bam. Again, you don't see too much change because it's support. Warding is the one that you really want to be focusing on. So here we see that, okay, well, for a gold, I'm warding well above average. <coughs> Likewise, a diamond. So, But it's not just important to note uh, just the shape of the graph. You want to look at, well, here, there was five minutes where I didn't ward at all. That's a problem. Here, there's three minutes I didn't ward at all. Also a problem. So what happened in this five minutes? Well, that's about eight minutes to 13 minutes that <coughs> I probably got my sight stone around here, which we can see, so that's around maybe seven minutes. So we scroll up, we look. Okay, yeah, I got my sight stone around seven minutes. Okay, so that means my next buy was 12 minutes. So I get to base, I or I get to lane after my sight stone, I place my wards. Um, what happens, maybe I needed uh, Maybe I went and did a deep ward in the uh, enemy jungle, and then I placed my pink ward in either the tri brush or the, the lane brush, depending on what side I was. So I should have maybe two or three wards placed, and then a pink ward. <clears throat> so that's kind of what we see here, because we went from one, two, we went from two wards placed to what, three, four, five, six, seven wards placed. So that's four wards, that's all of our wards basically. And then we don't recall. And we don't recall for five minutes in the laning phase, which means we don't place any wards. So this is why we're looking at this graph. Yes, we have above average wards, but our timing is bad. So maybe <clears throat> maybe it wasn't um, right or correct. Maybe it wasn't just the timing was off for us to go and get deep wards in if we weren't able to recall in two or three minutes to refill our sight stone so we can replace those wards. Because this is, this is pretty big, because we place a ward here, so three minutes, Words run out here, that's two minutes that we didn't have vision on the map. <clears throat> that's really important as the support to make sure you don't have that kind of stuff. So it's important to note that, okay, well our wards last for three minutes. <clears throat> if we're placing all of our wards, we need to make sure we're recalling every three minutes. Makes sense. 
or we upgrade our site stone so that if we place two wards, we still have two wards. So, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, and and it is different if you have yellow trinket or blue trinket, but to support, we get red trinket, so, you know, it's important that we're recalling a little bit more than carries who get wards off their trinkets. And then here again, there's another big instance in the mid to late game that we're not warding at all. Mind you, it's only, it doesn't look like five minutes. This was more five minutes. This was three or four minutes, so maybe we had the vision on the map still, but when there's a lot of rotations, you need to make sure that you have a lot of wards on you. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, so that's something that I know I need to work on. It's my recall timing. Okay, next game. Uh, okay, so we're participant number one. Yeah, so here we look. Minions, that doesn't really matter. It doesn't really change anything. Uh, maybe I just had to soak a wave here and there. Um, <clears throat> keep in mind my build... Er, no, okay, different game, different game. Uh, level again, so it looked like we got ahead at around 12 minutes, and then we just snowballed the lead. Cool. Gold, same sort of thing. We got ahead at around 12 minutes, and then we snowballed the lead. Mind you, wards. So this, this was just uh, the last base. We didn't need any wards because we were really far ahead, so I just BM'd and dropped all my wards on their nexus, so you don't look at this. <clears throat> you don't really look at this. Uh, you look at this because this is more of Maybe we were fighting. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. <clears throat> but we still see the section, which around 12 to 18 minutes, we didn't ward at all. And this is about 8 minutes that we didn't ward at all. So, this is a big, big, big problem. Because what happens around 12 to 20 minutes? The mid game. And if we don't have any vision in the mid-game, <clears throat> we can't take Dragon. We can't push objectives. We can't contest buffs. We can't take towers. We can't do good team fights. So maybe the reason why we didn't actually snowball earlier is because we didn't have the vision. Also, it looks like we got the, the big fights around here. During the period, no wards were on the map. Which... It seems like, okay, well, it worked out, it was fine, but that's that's really, really bad. Because we're making all these big fights, big plays, big rotations, big game-deciding decisions, when the support has no wards on them. And this isn't the team's fault, this is my fault, because I need to tell my team, I need to recall, I don't have wards on me, I need to buy, let's not do this until I get some vision. Just, you know, stall out and let me, like, give me 40 seconds, let me recall. Because then this becomes a lot less risky. Big plays like that aren't going to swing against us. So let's move on to the next game. Here we have a Blitzcrank game. And uh, I think my wards might be better earlier, but might be worse later. I'm not sure. So here, minions, okay, whatever. I farm, a, like, I just take a lot of minions as Blitzcrank. The ultimate, you get target stacks with it, whatever. Um, again, level, so we snowballed around. Well, it wasn't too much of a snowball, though. I guess... Uh, the Blitzcrank sort of, it's a lot more linear than uh, like a root function. Uh, so it still kind of looks like that shape because of diminishing returns on minion experience, but this is a little more, um, if we can compare it to the Soraka growth curve. See this one's a lot more um, relaxed. This one seems a lot more, or a little more, eh, actually they might be about the same. Um, I was thinking this one might be a little more uh, like linear than, than a curve because of Blitz's snowball. But uh, yeah, so again, above average, but we were ahead, so you don't really consider level. You don't really consider gold because your support gold's coming from global gold. You want to look at wards. So here it might look good because, oh, look, I'm, I'm warding above diamond level on average. But there are these instances where it's inconsistent. So again, another five minute period between 15 and 20 minutes where I'm not warding at all. So yeah, okay, we get to lane, we place our wards. This is where our last ward was placed. It'll run out around here. So this is a minute, minute and a half that we don't have vision on the map, which is bad because, let's see, what happened between, like, 20 minutes? Did anything big happen at 20 minutes? So that's here. It doesn't seem like a lot happened. Um, <clears throat> But again, if wards ran out around 18 minutes, and I recall that 20 minutes, that's two minutes that I didn't have vision on the map. It's huge. Like, that's huge. Oh, dragon spawning in a minute. Okay, well, I have no wards. Oh, baron spawning in a minute. Mind you, it's before 20 minutes, but like, oh, let's get rift uh, herald before 
it dies. Can't because we don't have vision. So this is very important. Yes, I'm warding a lot, but I'm not warding at the right time in certain cases. And it's always between 10 and 20 minutes because I try and stay in the laning phase too much or I'm roaming around too much in the early mid game and I'm trying to apply a lot of pressure. I'm trying to make sure I soak as much experience and maybe I might want to give up some of that experience to go get some more vision because it's going to be better later, I guess. So like, yeah, experience is good now, but maybe I can give up, you know, level eight because it's not really doing me anything. Like obviously you want to wait for level, level, well, level six. You don't want to really recall before level six unless you get first blood or something like that. Uh, you want your level nine, you want your level 11, level 13, level 16 just because you're looking at your ultimate, your first ability is maxed, your second level of your ultimate, your second ability is maxed, and your third level of your ultimate. Those are your timings. And you want to make sure you hit those timings, but you don't want to make, you, you don't want to hit that timing and give up the safety of taking an objective. So you always want to be thinking safe because maybe that safety allows you to stay in lane a little longer or stay pushing mid a little longer or not get caught out because the, the experience the enemies get from killing you because you didn't have sufficient vision is a lot more than the minion experience that you'll get by staying an extra wave. So that's you know, something I need to work on. Uh, and then we look at the next game. So again, minions, that's whatever. Uh, level, that's whatever. Gold, whatever. Wards, again, we see that there are these big periods here again, it's about 16, 17 to 21 minutes where I'm not warding at all. That's four minutes without wards. That means I have, after placing them, my last ward runs out and I'm still on the map for a minute before the next ward play is placed. And that's really, really bad. Like we see, uh, mind you, <clears throat> the Sona, they didn't ward as much as me, but if you look, it's more consistent than me. I have these big blocky chunks where it's flat for a very long time, which means I'm not warding. So that's an issue. And we see what happens around 20-ish minutes. Oh, <laughs> this was the game. Uh, this was a complete stomp in the early game, and then we we threw a little bit, which you can see here, but it was it wasn't really anything. We knew we were gonna win, so I ended up going just a troll build, but still like recall, recall more often. Like see, we have first recall seven minutes. That's fine because we have our warding totem. Then recall. Okay, so two minutes, then four minutes, then three minutes, then four minutes, then three minutes, and three minutes. So, <clears throat> or I guess this would be two minutes, but uh, the four minutes right here, this is a problem. Or this was five minutes. This was five minutes that I didn't recall. <laughs> that's, that's insane. Like, if you think about five minutes, jungler takes red buff, ADC takes red buff. I don't have wards until that red buff comes back up. Like, there, that's crazy. And then you're thinking that I'm trying to get to diamond doing that kind of crap. And then wondering, oh, why is my team getting caught? Not necessarily in these games because everyone played particularly well in these games, except for the most recent game I played where it was a complete 12k stomp that we ended up coming back from. Uh, but yeah, and like that kind of stuff. And yes, okay, it's everyone's job to be warding as much as they can, but as the support, four minutes without wards, five minutes without wards is unacceptable especially when you're trying to improve and thinking, where can I do better? So let's look at the last game just to really you know, be complete. So this is the game that I was talking about, maybe? Yeah, this was the game I was talking about, the big 12k gold lead that we ended up coming back from. And we look, minions. Okay, well, I got a lot of minions because I felt like I needed gold. So I got a bunch of minions. Also, uh, a lot of this was from my Zerat portal. I tried something different this game. Um, I, I'll go in, if people want to know why I did this or what the Soraka build is now, I can go into detail in another video, but I tried something different. Um, level, again, we don't really care about it because there's not a lot of variation in level across ranks. And what's interesting is we actually see the level go down a little bit from unranked to diamond, which means that they're doing more on the map or they're recalling more, so they're getting less experience slightly. And that's that's important. That's really important to know. Also, we see that as they climb, the amount of wards they place go up, especially in this region. <clears throat> Interesting. So this wasn't as bad because we were kind of losing a lot, which means I was low often and I actually made it a point because I, I know that it's an issue where I stay on the map too long and I don't recall as often as I need to. 
as support, as jungler, that kind of thing. Not as like mid lane, top lane, ADC. Top lane, not so much because you have teleport before eight minutes, then after that you want to be looking to make plays. But mid lane, ADC, you, you want to stay on the map as long as you can. You want to be recalling for damage spikes and then trying to fight with those spikes. But as support and jungle, you really want to make sure you're recalling as much as you can to refill your wards. So this was a little bit better. We don't see a lot of those flat regions for you know three, four, five minutes. And this is a little bit better for what I see. But you know what's what's up with this? Why it's below average, sort of thing. So maybe I'm just warding the uh, key points, which is fine. If we were losing, there were only maybe four points that I need to ward. So uh, you know, and we see progress. So yeah, and that's kind of the moral of this video is, you know, well for one, League of Graphs is a fantastic site to look for statistics on how you play. There's you no know, sponsor. It's just a site that I use, and uh, also. The the match history can be oops, uh, can be a little misleading because it only shows you. If we open this up quickly, Ooh. hopefully it wasn't too choppy. If we open this up quickly, blah 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 blah. Just making sure the encoder is not getting messed up. Just having a number. Okay. Just having a number beside wards placed is misleading. It's an average. Average doesn't tell you anything. Uh, well, in this case, it's not an average. It's just a number. And what does that number say? Oh, well, I, I just pressed 4 or 7 or whatever my sight stone's on 35 times. That's all it says. I, pr I either use my trinket or my sight stone 35 times. Who cares? It doesn't tell you where it was warded. It doesn't tell you when it was warded. And that's very, very important because if you're killing the Nexus, you don't need vision. If you're in the laning phase, well, you need vision. If you're taking Baron, you need vision. And having big periods of six or three plus minutes without placing a ward as a support, and you know, as anyone, but especially as a support, as a jungler, someone who very, uh, very much focuses on vision and vision control, vision denial, rotations, picks, setups, those kinds of things, you need to make sure that you're warding a lot and you're warding consistently, not with big flat regions in the wards per time or over time. Uh, graph. So uh, yeah, so that's going to be it for this video. Just a little bit of analysis. It went on way longer than I wanted it to, but I wanted to go over all five games. And uh, yeah, so if you like this kind of stuff, let me know. Um, if you have no idea what I'm really talking about, um, let me know. I can go over some of the stuff, uh, like the interpretation of the data and stuff for your games, or your match history, your uh, set of games. I can let you know where I think, without actually watching the replays, uh, where your struggling areas are and help you climb. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it's something you can learn from and thanks for watching.